boys and girls. Oh my goodness, it's so good to see you. It's Candace here. I was here last year at camp. I came to Lakeshore Pentecostal Camp because I was so excited to have kids camp with all of you, but sadly we can't be together. And that's okay, we'll be together next year. But see, I was so excited because after last year's camp, I went off to soldier school and I learned how to be a really good soldier and I was gonna come and I was gonna show you everything that I learned but then I lost all my armor. Look, I don't even have shoes on. I'm so silly. I can't believe that I forgot everything. I'm just, I'm not good enough to be a soldier at all. Oh wait, oh, I just got a text from Taylor. She was a coach last year at kids camp. Maybe she'll have something to tell me. Let's check it out. Hi everyone, I'm Taylor. <laughs> As some of you may know, this week we are learning about the armor of God, and today we are going to be talking about the belt of truth. Do you guys wear a belt? A belt's job is to help keep your pants from being too big and falling down. Let's think about the belt of truth like this piece of clothing we need to wear every day. Every day we need to wake up and wear truth on our tongues like a belt on our waist. Do you know what the word truth means? The word truth means to be honest. It also means to be truthful. An example of being honest and truthful is not telling lies. Our Bible story today talks about how we need to listen to God because he tells us the truth always. God loves us so, so much and he will always be honest and tell us the truth. He will never ever lie to us because he cares about us so much. Our story today is found in Genesis 3. Genesis is the very first book in the Bible, right at the beginning. We're gonna be reading from chapter three, verses one through 13. And it says, Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say you must not eat fruit from the one tree in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it or you will die. You will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman. For God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the fruit from the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened and they realized they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree I commanded you not to eat from? The man said, The woman you put here with me, she gave me some fruit from the tree, and I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the woman, what is this that you have done? The woman said, the serpent deceived me and I ate. Do you see how the snake told a lie to Eve? He said that the fruit from that tree God said not to eat from wouldn't hurt her, but it did. But God knew better when he told Adam and Eve not to eat for the fruit from that tree. God tells us the truth and the devil in this story is the serpent and the devil will always try and lie to us to mess us up and tell us things that aren't true. God loves us so, so much and cares about us so much that he will always speak good things to us and he'll always try and protect us by telling us the truth. Our memory verse today is found in Ephesians 6 verse 14. Therefore, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist. This verse reminds us that we need to wake up every day and put on our belt just like getting dressed in the morning, but we need to remember to tell the truth and not tell lies. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much that you love us so, so much and you always want to protect us by telling us the truth. I pray that every kid watching will know the truth that you speak about them and that they won't believe the lies of the devil. God, I just pray that you be with us. Help us to remember to wear our belt of truth every morning when we get up and speak the words of life to other people and always be honest. Thank you for loving us and be with us the rest of this week. In your name, amen. Bye guys, thanks for joining, have a wonderful week. Wow, that was so good. Taylor was talking about truth and who we are. I wonder where we can find that truth. Look over here. This is my Bible. 
I've always been told that I can find truth in my Bible. And look, here's the bookmark here. It's Ephesians 6, 13 through 17. This is going to be our memory verse for the week, kids. It says, therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you've done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith, which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Now, boys and girls, I know that that's a lot of words, but we are gonna be finding pieces of armor all week long that are gonna help us memorize this verse together. Here's my belt. Every time I wear this belt, I can remember that the belt of truth, which is God's word, can help me remember who I am. So your challenge today, boys and girls, is to make your own belt of truth. So whenever you put it on, you remember who you are in Christ. And all week long, we're gonna memorize that verse. At the end of the week, you can win a week of camp by memorizing that verse and wearing your full piece of armor. So go ahead and make your own belt today, boys and girls. I'm gonna keep looking for my armor and I will see you tomorrow. Come on, soldiers!